All right, you know, they grow the grains, then distill them into spirits right there on the farm. It's down home quality from start to finish. And we introduce you to Heidi Retzer, who is here from Ledge Rock Distillery with a great drink recipe for your next party, even if it's a party of one on your patio. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning. Hi. Well, give us a little history of your farm turned distillery. So, we are a small craft batch. Family owned distillery right outside of Fond du Lac. Um, we are basically in the corner of our cornfield and we wow. grow everything that we use. All of our grain is grown right on the farm. And we distill vodka, gin, moonshine, and bourbon. Moonshine. And we have two different bourbons. <laughs> and so today, what I'm going to be doing is we are open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 okay. to 5, and Sundays, noon to 4. But then we do give do give free tastings and tours, but then on the weekends we also um, have cocktails and on oh, events. Fun. And so yesterday and for the rest of the weekend we have a couple of themed cocktails. And so that is what I brought here today. And you definitely could come out to our distillery and try one of these, or even go on our website to find out how to make it. Ooh, right. Well, what are you going to make? And let's get it started, Heidi. Well, we are making today the Ledge Rock Firecracker, okay. which is from using our vodka, which is 100% corn-based. And so you start off with just two ounces of vodka. Okay. Corn-based, and Elaine, that means you can have it, right? That yeah, be that's free. great. Okay. Here, I'll help you out here. It's a long table. All right, what else do you and need I from actually, down here? I'm just going to see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Because okay. I would like to start with my grenadine. Oh, sure, to build the colors, to right? To build the colors, okay. exactly. So I'm going to start with my grenadine, and I'm going to okay. put about an ounce of that. And then the blue carousel actually floats on top of that. Really? Ooh, didn't do so good there. That's all right. We're fine with purple. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then I'm going to add in my ice. That's cute. I noticed you guys have a little bit of a gift shop there as well with some of these, these items we may need to make our drinks. Yes, and actually, because I really want that color to go, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to... Build it again, and because we really want that red, white, and blue, but yes, we have a retail area. Okay. And so, once again, I'm putting in my red. Okay. And then my blue carousel. Okay. Okay. This oh, turns that's going to do it. Really good. Yeah. And then Neat. we're going to use our vodka, which okay. I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. um, everything is... That's this guy, right? Yep. Right from our farm, and I'm going to be using two ounces of that. Okay. You can actually, we have a retail area, but you can see the whole distillation process, and we oh, do cool. give free tours as Fine. well. And then I'm going to use an ounce of lemon. Okay. This I'm just the bar delicious. back this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We were looking at these too. You've done cherry what, bomb. Yeah, you've done what to these cherries? Uh, what I did was I infused them in vodka and moonshine, and then I just dried them a little bit, dipped them in white chocolate, and then put blue sprinkles. Oh. And so they're very festive for the oh, season. That's fabulous. Do we so, just eat them? Right, like yeah, this, or please, do we put them in the drink? All right, I'm having one. Lisa's not waiting to garnish. She's and going to And then I'm going to shake. Mm. Add that to the top there. Oh, it's beautiful. That is cool looking. And add a spritz of soda. Mm. All right, I'm going to move it out front so we can get a really nice shot of it because you can see the colors very well there. Garnish it with frozen blueberries. They act just like ice cubes oh, cute. or a cherry on the top. And you've got a nice festive drink. Um, that you can enjoy at Ledge Rock, but you can also make it at home as well because it's pretty simple. Um, but we do give, as I said, free tours nice. and tastings anytime we're open. If we're not distilling, you can go back and see the entire process. The guys that um, put the seed in the ground are the same guys who actually bottle it and label it. Oh, it's cool. my son and my husband who are the ones making it and growing it, making it, and Getting it ready for distribution. Doesn't get more homegrown than this, right? <laughs> it's right there on the property. What do you think? You have to try one of these too. 
Oh, that's really, it's easy to sip. It's a good summer drink. I'm going for the cherry. <laughs> All right, while you talk, while you do that, I will let people know that you can mm. find the farm <laughs> nestled between Fond du Lac and Eden. They are open Wednesday through Sunday. Head to ledgerockdistillery.com for a store locator. Thank you so much. Thank you. Those cherries are so good. <laughs> mm -hmm.